Hello everyone, this is teacher Kathy and today we're going to learn about data visualization. So our learning objective is to know and understand what data visualization is and to learn how to make some types of data visualization. What is data? Data is defined as a collection of facts such as numbers, descriptions, measurements, and observations. Data itself is a result of research. There are several types of data. We have what we call your qualitative data, which are based on descriptive information. For example, we have boys, girls, we have urban or rural, those are qualitative data. We also have what we call your quantitative data, which are based on numerical information. For example, the scores of students, say from 0 to 50, from 51 to 100, or the number of students who get scores from 0 to 50, the number of students who get 51 to 100. But there are Quantitative types of quantitative data. It can be discrete, it's only take whole values, and we also have what we call your continuous, take any value within range. Discrete meaning to say they are whole numbers. When you say whole numbers, they can be counted, and continuous when the data can be measured. So the methods of data presentations are as follows. It can be textual, it can also be tabular, or we have the semi-tabular method or graphical method. Now for the textual method, obviously you make use of text or paragraphs. Just imagine if your grades are given in terms of textual method, then it would be a descriptive type. But, as you can see, we have your grades to be in tabular method because this is the better way of giving your grades. What is data visualization? So, data visualization is defined as the graphical representation of information and data. It is the process of taking raw data, transforming it into graphs, charts and images that explain these figures and allow us to translate data from something complicated to something simple. So meaning to say, data visualization is a translation of data sets into an attractive, meaningful, and easy to understand visual medium. It makes trends and huge sets of data immediately visible and makes what's important stand out. Data visualization is visual communication that grabs our interest and keeps our eyes on the message. Data visualization is storytelling with a purpose. If you had seen a large amount of spreadsheet and could not find the trend, then you would see how data visualization is so important. It's also infographics. Infographics are from the is from the word you have information and you have graphics. So graph. So information and graphs. Infographics is a visual communication that is meant to capture attention and enhance comprehension. So what are the common general types of data visualization? We have what we call your charts, tables, Graphs, maps, infographics, and dashboards. 
So an infographic is a collection of imagery, charts, and minimal text that gives an easy to understand overview of a topic. An effective infographic gives the viewers all the information he or she needs to make an informed discussion. Infographics use striking, engaging visuals to communicate information quickly and clearly. A strong infographic tells story. It combines text, illustrations, icons, and data visualizations. Example of an infographic. This is an example of an infographic. This is a, a, an infographic which is designed as information. So, information design infographic. This one actually focuses on the display of information and efficiently and effectively. So, it differs from data visualization because it is not made from specific data, rather on information. Now, this is, uh, uh, next time, ne the next one is about dashboard. A dashboard provides real-time results by aggregating and extracting value from all the data collected, specifically the key performance indicators. So it simplifies data into more manageable chunks of visual information that allows you to keep track on the more important details. This is an example of a dashboard, and this is actually found at MSUIIT website. And these are the grades for the second and first semester of school year 2010-2011 of some students. If you take a look, you can easily see that during the first sem, there is no red marks, so no failing grades. No student get a failing grade. For the second sem, there is a small sweep of red there, meaning to say there are some students who failed. In fact, there are 2.75% of students failed during this semester. So why do we have to do data visualization? First, that is to answer questions or to discover answers. To make better decisions. To see data in context. To find patterns to present arguments, and to do mini meaningful storytelling. Mean to say, our goal for data visualization is to take a look at the story behind your numbers and tell a story with your data to communicate ideas and help make informed decisions. Now, we have some types of graphs here which, making, which we can make use of as data visualization. Graphs are picture representation for one or more sets of information and their relationship to another. There are several types of graphs. The first one is your bar graph, the histogram, line graphs, pie charts, and we also have your scatter plots and your time series graphs. Here is a contrast between numbers and graphs. This one is a table on the drink preferences of coffee, tea, milk, and the likes. So this is a graph made out of um, Excel. So there is a link below on how you can make use of your Excel to do a graph like this. What is a bar graph? This is, an ex this is an example of what we call your bar graph. A bar graph organizes data into rectangular bars so that it will be easy to compare related data sets. So if you take a look here, you have 12 is the maximum, is the 
most number of cakes that has been sold. And the durian cheesecake is the least number of cake that has been sold for your cake sales. Histogram. A histogram is a data visualization that shows the distribution of data over a continuous interval or a certain period of time. It's basically a combination of a vertical bar chart and a line chart. This is an example of a line chart. So this line chart was again made making use of Excel. This is an example of a line graph. For this line graph, this is also a time series graph because here you can see that on the x-axis are the dates as to when the temperature for Elegan City was taken. And we actually have here a forecast. Pie charts. This is an example of a pie chart. If you take a look at this pie chart, you remember that we already had a data earlier. And this is again made out of Excel. But in a pie chart, it's necessary that you put the numbers on the slices. Otherwise, it will not be very clear as to what percentage or numbers are involved. So in here, you take a look, you have 26% are soft drinks drinker. And the least value are for those who actually drink this one, 14% milk. Scatter plots. This is an example of a scatter plot. And if you take a look at this, you have... What information do you get from a scatter plot here? From this scatter plot, you notice that as the driver's age increases, then his the maximum distance to read sign decreases. You can also take a look at the points here and notice that there are no outliers. Time series graphs. For a time series graph, we have here an example about the U.S. unemployment rate. And time here is based on the years. And the data is based on the percentage here. This is in percent. So the percentage of unemployment rate. So, in 1998, we have this value around 4.6% and down the line. So, notice how the graph changes here. So, a time series graph shows how the value of a particular variable or variables changed over some period of time. We have the following references. Yeah, we have to 